Made by Mousesport, who have looked really good on Nuke as of late. Simple even tweeted after that map, like, okay, we need to fix Nuke. And to be fair, they did. They showed up better against Complexity in the, in the match following that. But at least at the moment, Heroic have looked good on Nuke. So I'm, I'm, I am I'm, think that's a really good thing to not see, for, for Na'Vi's sake, to not see them having to take on that map. I think they've won the veto, but I don't know if they'll win the series, Trace. We have to find out. Series is on the line, but tournament life is not. However, a grand finals appearance, now that sounds pretty damn good to me. Welcome to the SL Pro League Season 12, everybody. You're we're here just in time for the upper bracket finals. We're going to have Navi and Heroic. You're squaring off a potentially free match. Can the boys in Heroic get it done? Can they continue to impress and moreover suppress the problem that is simple? Oh, oh they don't have to wait long, do we? GG oh, the right. are as close as they get. Yeah, I think that's justifiable. And, well, Flamey with the dualies. Double kill at the top of Banana. Flashed in for a bit more. And Arcadian does deal with him. That is a very convincing start here for Na'Vi. And that's the thing. I, I do think as well, right, this isn't the case that this is like... This is like group stage Na'Vi that you're going to be up against anymore. Where, you know, maybe, maybe they can stomach a few shortcomings in these matchups you know this is going to be prime narvi an rv that's trying to reach the grand finals and trying to get there in a very very dominant fashion so i, I think we're in for a treat no matter what and that pissed around has very much convinced me of that fact with the dualies coming out the fast mid play from boomage i'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of this series has to offer on a map that we've really not gotten to see a whole lot of Na'Vi on as of late as well, right? So, scary stuff for Heroic in terms of preparation coming into a game like Inferno, but these guys have looked so good individually. Plan has been working for the Danes. And they're back to the apartments in the second round, looking to execute upon A. Motor smoke down, and the flashes follow. Electronic in the pit, and blink, and you miss it. Na'Vi with three kills, and no trades back for Heroic. No kills gifted up. Nice grenade combo with the shot from Electronic, and Stown alone on short. This is all falling apart very quickly, and even more brutally. And he's just going to sit back and relax. Which is about all you can do in this situation, isn't it? Yeah, I like the patience for Na'Vi as well, right? It, it's very easy to maybe get ahead of yourself and give over a kill here and try and hunt down this last player, but not even Boomich is making that mistake. Tucked into the long corner, spotted, but Stown can't really go anywhere. They're re-aggressing finally, and Simple's going to hit that dome. Na'Vi 2-0 and on the CT side. Heroic on full pistols now. That was a force that went nowhere. Something that is very, very cool, though, about Na'Vi is when we have seen them play Inferno, and this has actually been the case for kind of everything outside of these these three maps that we see them frequent a lot, they've been pretty secretive at revealing what maps they're comfortable on. Inferno has always either been the map pick of an opponent or a third map decider, and uh, Na'Vi actually haven't lost it in the two times they've played it, those wins being over G2, who picked into it against Na'Vi, and Mouse Sports, who left it in there as a third map decider. Um, and so that's kind of like a cool idea, right? Like, Na'Vi are only ever showing us kind of this, this, this handful of maps, and so as a result, they're quite a tricky team to try and play against as this map veto shows off in quite the quite the big way you know i don't i don't really know if it, uh, sorry, uh, the, the first time these two teams played, I think Heroic tried to go a lot off of like stats and what looked to be weak maps for Na'Vi. And obviously that didn't really work out for them the last time that they played. They faced a loss on Overpass. They went on to win Na'Vi's map pick, funnily enough. And then Na'Vi closed out that series. So we don't really know like outside of these few maps where this Na'Vi squad is at in terms of having like a huge repertoire of games to go off. Of. And I think that puts them in a really good position. Uh. Or Heroic has yet to start. Their position? Well, very vulnerable one, we'll just say that. Yeah, they're trapped in the pit stop. No one's changed the tires yet, though. In fact, they've lost the keys, it seems like. <laughs> and they're just trying to find them to turn the ignition over. Hadian, the only one with a frag for his team thus far. So oh, I don't think he's doubling it on this round. The burst fire is out. Uh, Na'Vi, those are some clean rounds, right? They have just slaughtered three rounds in a row with one death, as you said. So, and he's going to be good. And, you know, I thought that burst might come through in a big way, but also I knew it wasn't going to come through in any sort of way, actually. Three to zero, Na'Vi, off to a good start on the map pick of Heroic. Again, we're trying to send some folks into the grand finals here. 
Not really sure who it's going to be just yet, but let us know using hashtag ESL Pro League. You see it right there on the right in case I uh, have spoken that a little too fast for you. Use that across any social media platform you want, but Twitter is going to be where you get our attention. Weapons in this round for Heroic. Yeah, boost up on the short side. I like this one as well. It's quite the annoying angle to deal with. You've got to fully commit to the swing to, to even get Perfecto into a fight. And he's supported by two more Na'Vi players. Heroic, they do tend to Molotov the short position. So we'll see if they go back to that as Na'Vi stalled things out in the middle. They've done the same over towards B, even flashing Boomage back in after the smoke blooms. Kadian does hear it and knows that he's crossed, but the smoke again denies Heroic more info, more vision and more control. They're fine with that. They'll group back up towards middle with the bomb. Tess is in the apartments, and Na'Vi about to walk into this porch side setup. Whoa. <laughs> this is, uh, is going to be interesting. Perfecto makes first contact. Now they know he's here, and he's seen the man in Boiler as well. Simple there to help him out, but does get dropped after one. This is where Electronic swings out and down underneath the patio. The nade is good for Electronic, and even more coming his way. It falls to Stown. In a one on two, who has at least got that trade and secured the A site, can now get this bomb down, right? But on V2, Boomich and Flamey on the other side. Flamey's been having some great games as of late as well for Na'Vi. So this is not the easiest of spots to be in. Now, despite all these guns being down at top mid, no one has traded out here for Na'Vi. They're just looking to take this fight and not oh. give away mm. that position. And now that they deal the killing blow, they retrieve the AWP, they grab the guns from mid, and they get the defuse as well. That's a very, very good round for Na'Vi and a bit unfortunate for Heroic as they walk into that short stack. Yeah, the only reason they even get a bomb plant there is because Electronic, after killing the fourth player out through middle, turns around to look at apps, right? He considers, surely they're not five-man crunching mid, but they were. Stan was just a little late. I like the setup. Even though Simple gets very little done, he draws attention away from uh, Heroic for Electronic to activate. And that's something that we even have seen Heroic run on their CT side. So Na'Vi using their own tricks against them. Back to guns, though. Bomb plant does facilitate it. No AWP yet for Cadian. Had one in the previous, but it's been yoinked right out of his hands. Also, it's Simple's birthday. Ooh. And everyone wants to lock in a grand final on their birthday, right? That's surely how that works. Happy birthday, Sasha. Shout out the number one in the game. Kadian, great beep hit. Frames caught with nades out. Oh no, he's getting chased. The spray is messy, but Kadian will complete it. And Heroic, a double entry out of nowhere. You always commit to B if you get two picks that fast. Na'Vi might just have to save, but Simple has enticed them back in with that kill through the smoke. No one even moving out of the pits, right? Nico, still in the apartment, still selling a fake. And in fact, even if he dies, it's too little, too late for Na'Vi to give the round a go. Did Perfecto spot Nico? It looked like he did. Simple's very attuned to the apartments right now. All three players set up for it. And even though there's a feet sticking out, Nico can't get a kill. Maybe it's up to Electronic to aggress, but doesn't want to offer up any more guns than Na'Vi have to. Meanwhile, they're pushing him from short as well. Tess is on the hunt. Uh-oh. <laughs> Back in a little warm. It's uh, cooked to perfecto. It's going to be in round for Heroic. Step in the right direction. Simple hold on to the op. That's the big question. Sees Bora, oh, goes for a nose coat. What a mad lad. Almost gets knifed, too. Oh. All of it had taken was a left click right there. And that would have been all she wrote. Simple getting knifed early in the series. Not something you see all the time, but... Surely, if you want to kick fire and throw gas on it, go right ahead. I feel like if you do that to Simple, it just makes him even more lethal, right? even more dangerous. You don't want to, you don't want to fire this guy yeah. up any more than he already is. Watch this. I imagine getting knifed on your birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Simple. Happy birthday. Something that's unreal. I didn't realize this, and this is my bad. But Simple was born in '97. I didn't know that. Yeah, real that's birthday wild. Is. Where are you born, Harry? Uh, like 2008. <laughs> Oh no! Nice. Trapped between two mollies. They got to smoke it. Navi had no choice there if they wanted to escape. Heroic could have been up alt mid. They were not. But Tessus has been in the apartments the entire time. So, Harry, happy 12th birthday to you at the same time. And happy birthday to Hugo. Because everyone gets to have a birthday around here. Yeah. Cheers, man. Happy birthday, Trace. Happy birthday, Hugo. 
You too, man. When is your birthday, Hugo? Can't even remember at this point. Interesting. Well, we'll get back into the action here for Heroic. Hugo fact checks himself. It's a new process, actually. Got the passport out. Right now, Heroic, they're the ones booking a flight, though, and the destination, this B-bomb site. Boom, it's shooting, getting out alive. The nade could be good, but Heroic jump and dodge and weave away. Smoke down for Na'Vi. The spam is back. If they got a kill, they could have gone. But now, Na'Vi's still committing deep inside of A. They know at 30 seconds, Heroic could turn around, but that doesn't look to be the case. It's a B commit. Yeah, need to start to see some of these rotations. Boomich oh. lines up too, and Nico's flash does not help his teammates out. In fact, it blindsides them. Boomich gets a full reload off behind the pillar. Nico, luckily enough, will be there to secure this B site for Heroic. But that is a, that is a stellar little defense from Boomich. Now leaving Nico and Tessez. Two on three with the bomb down. Tessez yet to put up a kill in this game. Back of the site. Has this crossfire set up with Nico. And he's waiting patiently. He tries to swing on a simple, but he's not missing a beat. And so Tess says, it's all eyes on him. Back of the site, 1v3 needed. Swings on out, but not going to win any awards for that. A simple is there to lock it in. Five on the board yeah. for Na'Vi. And you see right there the game plan. Put Tessas out in front of the fight. Let him fight first. Maybe distract a little bit. And that could have given the opportunity to swing, but... Or excuse me, Ness, or Tessis would have been hidden behind new box. So kind of the opposite of what I just said at the same exact time. Nico it was the one going for the fight on Coffin. You're right, but like I don't know how simple hits that. He's so quick with the orb. What we are seeing from today and yesterday in the Navi game is how hungry Simple is on these retakes. Right, he's he's always good to drop his orb, grab a rifle, and go in first. Fearless player, and for good reason, he finds Tessis at the back of the site, and Navi keep up this CT side. Broken by for heroic, they have to go for it. But a Tech Nine and a Galil, far from perfection. Stalling out this orb for yet another round. Kadian does keep cash for it, though. Simple's already been showing up in a big way. Back on this A site right now. That's a rogue set of nades. Oh, Simple, there's one. Electronic here to help him out. Tries to flick on down. They do get up through short, but Perfecto now playing in tandem with his teammates at this A bomb site. Simple. Ooh. They can peek back in, they lose Kadian over here in CT, and this is just a complete and utter shutdown of the short play. Na'Vi going on to six. And looking dominant as ever. This this like duo as well, of simple and electronic, man. They, they've certainly had their ups and downs throughout 2020. I think, yeah. you know, after Katowice, when events went to online, that's where we saw the first few cracks emerge for Na'Vi. But that's one of the things that I think would make this team's story even more interesting, is that this was a team who, out of all the teams, really, like all the, all the LAN teams, had like the longest tenure of just kind of only playing LAN events. I think it was 2018, right? It was their last online game when everything turned around. And you could really see that in the individuals for Na'Vi. And, and now here they start making one hell of a run here in the Pro League, dropping what? One series to Ents thus far along the way. Like everybody else in the season thus far. Pretty much. Just lose to Ents for giggles. Yeah, it probably wouldn't surprise either of you for me to say that Simple is the number one HLTV rated player of this event so far. That's pretty standard when we see Na'Vi in tournaments. The only other player for, or in this series that's on that top eight is Stown coming in at number six. So no surprises there either, but Simple back in middle with a pick and looking for more. Yeah, once you start hearing that AWP go off, if you're heroic, you do get a little bit rattled. You don't want to feed this guy, but then again, his teammates are perfectly capable of backing him up too. Backing him up. Words. And they're going to back up. They're going to concede middle here with other than simple on long, knowing that he'll likely get smoked if Heroic want this position. And they certainly seem to be lining that up now. The rest of his team falling back to the site. Simple. Not dealt a long corner smoke, but an arch and library one. That allows Heroic to run the path. Simple can't hang around if he wants to stay alive. Those pistols can be ferocious. An electronic in the pit bites back. Simple waiting for the Ooh. spam. Firing off his AWP as well. And electronic is going to save him again. Bomb drop. Kadian isn't CT, but traded by Flamey. And Heroic unable to get more than one kill at a, at a time, it seems. We commended them for their trading last night. But right now, it's Na'Vi 
running the show. 7-1. Yeah, it was a little more fluid last night from the side of Heroic. But for Navi, I mean, you, you've pretty much... You've got a round here where Heroic don't really have anything invested. You get the pick early on in the round, and everything else just sort of falls into place. Now the big Akbai. The AKs. Coming up for Heroic. Five deep. Kadian could have got the orb, but it would have left him with almost no nades, maybe a flash, and that's it. So I imagine that's some of the reason why he's buying up a rifle now and potentially the pace that we'll see for Heroic in this round. That's a good nade. It's going to land right at the feet of Nico. And I'm pretty sure they heard the Molotov hitting somebody in there, so they're giving it extra attention. Got to get that molly that flamey threw quite right because it can explode midair if it takes too long to land. Harvey know their lineups and they've got things on lockdown right now. Five on five, but the damage has been dished out all across Heroic's T side. Bomb is still top B. So while Heroic might be setting sights towards A and making some noise, it's likely they're going to come back towards this B site later in the round. That or the bomb rotates now, and that's already seeming to be the case. Reaggression for Navi. Finding nothing. Will that be misinformation as Heroic Group 5 up in middle? Oh, they're tiptoeing towards someone you do not want to tiptoe towards. My is smoke going to go down, but simple. Still a threat. Ooh. Jiggle. They get one shot out of what? him. And how is that only a leg? Orup, he's got legs where his nipples are. And now Cadian falling. Electronic down in the pit, having to try and do all of this oh, single-handedly. And he has done a lot of damage, dropping the bomb. Electronic on a tear. <laughs> and almost another does finally get dealt with, but Flamey was able to trade that out, and it's left us down in a 1v2. This is a repeat of one of these early rounds in the half with Stown once again having to clutch it out versus these two B rotators. Holding for the long peak from Flamey and does get it, but Boomic could trade here and now. Oh. A quick flick from Stown. As this 1v1 almost draw into a close. Two bullets for Stown. He's got to make him count. Mm. And he can't get away with it. Defuse coming in for Boomic. And now V, eight on the board. Oh, maybe the nerves are setting in for Heroic, right? You can see the pressure in that one on two. Stown getting clipped on the wall, decides for the molly, and then against it, misses one of the final two bullets. If he hits them both, it's a kill. And I don't know how that's not for simple, right? Very fast stuff for Borg. He has been excellent for Heroic inside of Pro League so far. And yeah, great hold for Electronic, man. He stalls things out so long that allows those two B rotates to actually win the round for Na'Vi. Excellent hold. If he doesn't put up three there, that's likely a second round for the Danes. But right now, they're still sitting around one. Navi haven't even needed to run this triple B setup either. It's not like they've been throwing heavy utility into Banana every round. It's simply been one Molotov to stop Heroic from running up the top of B. But maybe that's something Heroic can exploit later on, on a faster B approach, dropping a smoke on the molly and committing with spawn side execute. Well, Stan taking a big stand in this round. He takes down Boomic over here on the beast site. Leaves a little bit more vulnerable than usual. Flamey with the AUG has caused enough of a concussion there for Kadian, taking his dome piece away. And we're going to see this B bomb site go away as well with a bomb plant. Perfecto has an inkling someone might be at A, but his spidey senses tingle the wrong way. Ooh. There we go, Flamey dealing with the first man in. Nico crossing, a lot of time ticking away here from Na'Vi. So they've got to go fast now and deal with Nico. Stown not able to clutch it again. And so Na'Vi just racking up this round count and nine to their name. And the retake right there is so pristine. I mean, this is obviously them going in sort of one by one, but also simultaneously through the smoke. Their angles are lining up so that they can get the trades they need. There's a reason they're sitting 9-1 currently. It's all right there inside of your pudding, Harry. One of the things that must feel great about this as well is like for the longest team, you know, 
Danish Danish CS in the form of Astralis was like the the bane of Navi. Like those were the guys like gatekeeping the first places at every single tournament. And yeah, man, this ain't Astralis. It's heroic, but still, they've been on such an insane run and have beat the likes of Astralis at this event, right? And so now to just be completely and utterly wiping the floor with them, yeah. that's gonna be a real feel good feeling for a guy like Simple, especially how you know, competitive that series was between these exact uh, two teams in the group stage. It went the distance, it went close maps. Right now, Na'Vi on Heroic's pick are dealing them a dirty hand. Perfecto backs up of short and he gets away with his life. More damage done to power up. And Nico gets picked first. It's simple on the orb. Back for more. Can't hit the flick, but it's still going to be a man advantage up for Na'Vi with electronic stock getting checked. He sprays, he prays, but it's Perfecto to bail him out with one. Stown trading again. It's repeat for Stown. He's got to do it this third time as he's left in the clutch versus Flame. He couldn't get it over the line in the previous time, but Flamey going for a different wrap round now. Could Stown play the smoke? The bomb's planted for long. It's going towards the short side, and Flamey could catch him in the open. This is Stown's fourth pro proper attempt at a 1BX clutch, his third inside of this A site, and finally oh. he's given an alright chance to win one, but Flamey cancels him out. And you gotta feel bad for Stown. I feel like we're watching like the, the, the same round. It's like a groundhog day. Yeah. You know, just repeating, and he's trying to come up with the right steps. He's trying to come up with answers, and every single time Navi are besting him. Yeah, Barup even said that interview the other day, that like, Na'Vi just seem like a team that are really good up against Heroic, and yeah, with this scoreline, I'm kind of inclined to agree, right? Like, this is, this is a very dominant looking Na'Vi. This is a Na'Vi you could take the whole tournament right now. Oh yeah, I don't think anyone's disagreeing there. I think, you know, like, the, the biggest challenge right now that we've seen that's left was probably Heroic. <laughs> and... Yeah. <laughs> it's not not looking too challenging to Na'Vi right about now. Your early days, I'd like to think, but it definitely worries me that this is the map pick of Heroic in the series. Although, well, as often as they do swap... Uh-oh. Simple's here, finally. He's not been on his triple B play, but now he won't stay either. Heroic, again, pushing in off the back of a pick. The smoke actually cools them off. Heroic have been very good at capitalizing on the opening kill, but realizing this time that it's simple, they expect more resistance, and they are right in that assumption. Third rotate even coming through in this four on five, and Heroic have made the perfect call to go back towards A. Perfecto needs to put up a real hold here, and he could just get bypassed. Ooh. It's a one for one, and now the A site falls into Heroic hands. This might just be a round for the Danes. About time. Well, if this is a save, you know, at least that's just kind of paint a picture for how the rest of the tournament's looking, you know. So this is the upper bracket, right? Winner of this goes straight to those grand finals. The the loser, they drop on down to play the winner of Astralis and Mouse Sports. So let's just think about the teams that we still have left, right? We got Na'Vi, Heroic, Mouse, Astralis. And and for a lot of people, I think they were looking as heroic, the, the kind of guys to maybe put Na'Vi through the ringer a bit, you know, try and tire these guys out, see what they can do. And it is feeling a little bit one-sided to begin the night. And then you look down at like that, that Astralis Mouse battle that's going to be going down. I think a lot of people would say, oh, well, you know, maybe it's the other Danes. Maybe it's Astralis who can keep being that kryptonite to Na'Vi as they have been throughout every kind of event where they had that head-to-head -head take place. And and then, like, you, you think about it even more, though, but one of the more interesting things there for me is that Mouse Sports have, have, have bested Astralis in head-to-heads a lot of the time, more so than Astralis have actually won them out. Mouse Sports just seem like kind of the kryptonite to Astralis in that sense. So it's a, it's a very, very weird way that these playoffs have kind of come together, you know, with every team facing someone who's just really good up against them in order to reach the playoffs. And that's why it feels like you have to give a lot of credit to whoever does end up securing these grand final spots that are going to be remaining. 10 to 2. Not slowing down. Yeah, I think the biggest worry of all of this is is we've seen some dominant T-sides in this tournament, especially on a map like Inferno. Think of that Na'Vi Mouse Sports game the other night that was the 13-2 T-side for Na'Vi, and then it goes the distance, it goes all the way back. 
and Na'Vi close it in round 29. Right now, it's not the same case. This is a strong CT side, and Na'Vi looking to keep it up. Simple court on short, has cover from Perfecto, tucked under the balcony, and Cadian swings wide, no trade needed, as Electronic is smoked off as well. Through the smoke, he finds Tessis. Simple stops one on long, but he gets pinched from the apartment. Electronic couldn't cover. He was still watching the smoke, and the bombs are back, dropped mid. stown has got to get it. Do they want to commit here? It's not really much else he can do. He's got to get past Electronic to join his team in the site, and they've lost track of the man in question going through the apartments. Do Heroic know? Hopefully they figure it out, right? They wrap up through short. Boomich is pushed through long into the top of mid while all this madness is going on. And Electronic reroutes in through middle to clear it out from the other side, anticipating that maybe there was someone in the apartments, but there's not for Heroic. Instead, they've got two down here in the pit, one in the site. And this crossfire can be a tricky one to deal with. A lot of this kind of hinges on Electronic making some kind of play in tandem with Boomich through the apartments and short. Flaney does have that flash to try and set them up, but losing Boomich right away, that is a pretty rough hand to get dealt. Because now this pit crossfire is just too deadly for Na'Vi to contend with, and they're going to have to save. The damage has been done right. Even though Heroic have been losing a lot of these rounds, think about the amount of one-on-ones that Stalin's found himself in. That has chipped away slow and steady against the Na'Vi economy, and the save is definitely the right call if they want to buy up for these last couple of rounds. Still going to leave Heroic with a chance to salvage something in this half, looking at five on the T side. It wouldn't be bad after how this begun. But are Na'Vi going to let it slip away that easily. Simple back on the orb. We got a full by here for Na'Vi. Kadian's got one of his own as well. So maybe we'll get that head-to-head -head after all. Kadian is just sprinting. Barrel and okay, don't know how simple gets it, but he does. The orb is posted up, but he saw the barrel of it, so he knows that Cadian is in this position, not re peeking. Smoke comes from Perfecto in the corner, and that sends Heroic back. Yeah, B hasn't necessarily been the kindest to Heroic. They have found the little success that they have had, sometimes banking on that. Looks like they want to try it again. We'll leave Nico over there in the apps by himself. The rest of the heroic are going to be working their way up banana. Smoke out for Navi. The spamage there, but no landage on the boomage. Yeah, and that lurk of Nico and Apps keeps players over towards A that much longer. And now heroic actually given the opportunity to rotate away from B. And look to hit this A site and Navi. They 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 fully rotated, all with the exception of Electronic, who admittedly has given us some great rounds inside of this A site. But this has got to be one of them if Navi want to salvage this round. It's a four on four, and Electronic needs to make all the difference now into the pit, trying to stay alive. But Cadian hits it on the cross. Simple chiming in with one of his own. The bomb does get into the site, but Simple swinging wide, dealt with by Nico, left into a two on two, and heroic. They fall back now. They don't want to give any more of these fights away in the post plant. They're going to make Perfecto and Boomich work to regain this ground over towards A. And no util to get Na'Vi back in, and they haven't even figured out these positions yet. Pit site is fairly standard with this crossfire, but Boomich jumping out of apartments. Nico hits the drop, and he swings onto him. It's only Perfecto stuck at long. Does he want the money or the round? He's going to give it a go. The time is ticking. He's got the kill. Stown hiding behind the boxes, and there's no angle for Perfecto. He's getting danced on from the pillar side, and he jumps up. But honestly, the round is already lost, and Stown just locks it in with a fourth. Orp will die to the bomb, but it's a round nonetheless for Heroic. You don't blame Na'Vi for fast rotating B there, right? Every time Heroic have had that opening kill on B, they've committed. And Na'Vi have always won those retakes on the B-bomb site as well. So that's what sends Heroic away. They know that Na'Vi are going to over-rotate. They know they've had trouble closing out the post part. And Stown finally wins one of his one-on-ones on this A site. Right down to the wire. Factor tries it. But it's not enough. Last round of the half, you see Na'Vi going in with Deagles. What could go wrong? <laughs> Navi with Eagle scares me because they play like they've got nothing to lose. Perfecto, aggro and apps in with the first. They do run him Whoa. down, but Electronic with the spray down. MP9. And with it, he's dropped the bomb. Now, didn't retrieve any weaponry. 
But in a four on two, right, it's far more risky for him to be giving away that kill, opening up a three on two, opening up the A bomb site. And so he just plays it passive. And now Heroic, they have to retrieve the bomb. They've got to waste all this time clearing all this nonsense that they don't want to be clearing. And this entire round now, balancing on a nice edge, thanks to that push from Electronic and Perfecto. Ooh, the timing for Electronic. He's just crossed. He isn't peeking yet. Holding for this close sight angle. Problem he's going to have is because he won't get this engagement till so late on the short push, it kind of limits how much Simple can help him out here. And that Molly will force Electronic to drop that smoke. Now they know he's down in the pit. Simple smoked off at Moto. Rotations yet to arrive from B, and that's because of Heroic throwing these fakes in at the last moment. So they deal with Simple and Electronic just having to wait, wait for his teammates. They're on a pretty lengthy journey still. He's in with a third. This MP9 has treated Electronic well. It's all left on to Stown in another clutch at the A site. Can he give us the goods or is it going to be Na'Vi finding 11? It looks like it's the latter. As they win this round, Deegs and Armor, the MP9 on Electronic, and that is the secret recipe to put 11 on the board for Na'Vi. This game, it's already a great one to be keeping an eye on. The winner of this heading to the grand finals of the Pro League. You do not want to miss it. Na'Vi taking on Heroic continues in just a moment.
Welcome back, everybody. It's been a pretty one-sided first half. If Navi slow down, you might just catch up to Heroic. And by that, I mean Heroic have yet to start. We're going to see if they can hold fast on their CT side, but the looks that we're given thus far, not up there with the par. I've got Harry and Hugo with me. And for Hugo, it's a pretty clear-cut case of, well, I don't know. This one just seems to be floating in front of Heroic. Yeah, it is... Uh dangled in front of their eyes, but they're not being allowed to grab it. That's a good change, a good start. Kadian with a nade onto Boomich and follows up with a shot on Simple. Gonna need one hell of a CT comeback in this map. And that's one way to start it all out. Whatever's Navi, whatever Navi's plan was, out of the window already. Cancelled. This year 2020, what have you believe, is the only word app for this year. Five alive for Heroic. They've got four deep over on the A site. Good luck, Tony. See you later, dude. Nico with two. Ooh, yeah. A couple taps there. Makes it look good, Harry. Yeah, he does. An all. Perfecto. All right. Let's see. What can he do? Well, now they know where the Perfecto can be found, and Tess says there's no issue finding him. So Pistol Round picked up for Heroic, as now they look to grind their way back into this game. Now, it is still a huge score deficit between them and Na'Vi. They've got quite the, uh, the journey they're going to have to embark on to get this one back to even odds. But it's certainly not impossible. Yeah, think about how Na'Vi went on that CT-sided streak to start, right? They lost one player in the first three rounds and really built up a big amount of money that Heroic were constantly fighting back, uh, back against the entire half. Na'Vi are looking to put a stop to that before it's a problem and force in the second, as Heroic did. Not too much success, though. Will Na'Vi's be any different? Lots of SMGs for Heroic, but that has enabled all the Molotovs, all the HEs, and some kits available for retake. Navi setting up on the A site for an execute here. Back to a heavy pit setup for Heroic. May the range be in their favor. Yeah, but we've seen these pistols from Navi, Ooh. and we've seen what they can Ooh, do. Hey. The triple nade down into the pit leaves no room for Nico. Testes might be a little unexpected from this position, and so he's in with two, but that's all he can offer, and Perfecto, a lot of damage, even though he doesn't get away with the kill. If they can't chase him down, that might be reason enough to save. And so that is, that's great from Perfecto, right? He does all that damage and just runs away, because he knows that Heroic, look at how much they're hunting down this one kill. And oh, he's still here, he's still drawing them in, but he's kicking right back at them, and it's all left on to Borup. Perfecto plays that round just to a T. He does everything right and locks in a 12 for Na'Vi. Swell stuff there from Perfecto. Or it might slide out and find Simple, but this round is done. It's over. Perfecto is actually going to put that last kill up on the board that does just that. So good stuff on him. And for Na'Vi, that is the response. They lose the pistol, they pick up the second, and away we go. Yeah, I love how Perfecto just puts distance, right? He doesn't even go back to the site where he's leading Heroic into the lion's den. He's just drawing them away from it. And the longer that he can keep them in ult fighting apartments, the more time off of that bomb they're wasting. How often do you ever see CTs saving in the second round after a pistol win? Well, they try and save, they're not allowed. Na'Vi hunt down all the kills, and that's force to force from Heroic. Quite the dire situation to be in, even with Na'Vi missing their own Molotov and cutting off their B approach. They got all the time in the world. It's four on A right now. Double boost on the long side. And Navi could just walk right up banana as they wanted to do in the pistol round, but were denied by utility. There's not a lot of that for heroic. Only smokes to stall with a couple of grenades as well. The Krieg's back. Yeah, this is uh, quite the birthday present that Simple's giving us now. I want to see if this can actually do anything. Birthdays. Now. Stone with the smoke. He's going to be able to drop this right about now. He's already made that introduction. Hey, guys, I'm here. 
but also not a whole lot of heroic players aside from me. They're going to hunt him down as well as this bomb plant. They should get it with relative ease. Flamey dipped off into the tree and spawned. He's got a pretty crucial position and is only good for one. Response in the form of Cadian's Deagle. Yeah, this, I mean, you know, these rounds can still get out of hand. Na'Vi literally taught Heroic that just a round ago. And so they're, they're keen to not give any more of these fights over. This boost from Simple might just save the day. As he's given a lineup into CT, deals with Tessez, puts the advantage back in favor of Na'Vi, and they're breathing a bit of sigh of a relief now as Simple is here, and he's cleaning up. And a gentleman. RV in with 13. And simple, he ain't being gentle, man. Yeah, D save is the only positive heroic get out of that round, right? A misread with the 4A. I mean, it's a gamble stack, right? That's clues in the name. You're flipping, uh, well, you're rolling a dice. You're flipping the coin. Simple, man. With the Krieg. Let's see if this keeps on into, into gun rounds as well, right? There won't be now Heroic. Still a little bit lacking the money. So Cadian with a flash. Might just pop them down aggro mid or, or an aggressive B setup. Na'Vi have been patient in the early start of these rounds, waiting for Heroic to fight them in middle and banana. It's not going to be the case. Not yet, at least. Cadian on long. And at least a triple B for Heroic, but you really can't imagine much comes from that with only USPs. Heroic are always boosting someone somewhere for something. <laughs> what about this one? It's like we've already accepted that you've got the site, and now we're going to yeah. try to fight you afterwards. They're waiting, I think, for someone to try and go up onto the top, right, to check, like, the, the, the boost and orange new box, and it's a pretty good angle to take to just, like, offset anyone playing at the back of site or, uh, or close on oranges. So it's like, it's, it's a neat idea. Right, because you see that Coffins is clear, and you're already anticipating. Well, there could be one just hidden oranges with a with a pistol. And you're you're caught out in the open. Is is what ends up happening if you take that fight, right? Yeah, right. And that's the last place you're going to be like 100% looking at if if that's the route that you're trying to take into the site. The only the only weakness I see potentially is, well, it was that which didn't realize could happen. I didn't realize it could just be seen as you get up onto the boost. I was more so just thinking if someone just runs into the site and clears Coffins, which happens a lot on these B plays. So, yeah, you know, the boost doesn't really show us anything Ooh. too cool. Kadian keeps it clean, though, with that nice deeg onto Simple. He is the one guy who still has armor and, uh, and a pistol into this round. So, you know, maybe using the others, like little UAVs, he can fly them out into the open, knows now where the enemy are. Has had one slip by into CT. And I think he knows. Indeed he does, but that's not going to stop Electronic taking his head off. 14 on the board for Na'Vi. And Heroic finally coming in with a bye. But if they don't win this, then this map, hate to say it, but it's just going to slip by the wayside. Yeah, that's a horrible way for it to go, right? You know, you win the pistol, you start believing in the comeback, and Na'Vi immediately find the force by victory. They keep their anti-ecos clean to a degree. And yeah, now all the money... Hell of a lead, Glass Orb with double FAMAS in the first rifle round for Heroic. And it's the electronic and simple show, what we love and what we know. Cadian's flashed off mid. Simple, he don't even need the Orb, he's back to the Krieg. Scoped up in the middle. Maybe he just prefers the Krieg. Oh, I don't blame him at this point. Another opening kill from him. Electronics already killed the AWP, and so Na'Vi could just commit out of the apartments. Flamey's dropped. It has been heard. Tessas is stuck in between two. Who do you even want to face at this point? It's simple down, but Tessas still hanging around with a second. Surely gets traded now, and Electronic has done that at least. Na'Vi taking some time on this A approach, and with damage done for the B flankers, even though that gives the position away, it's set Heroic up for a possible, possible winnable round. Perfecto, and the two retaken CTs were like running in parallel. They were actually in like the, the, the same area, just sadly missing one another with him in the apartments. It's now the retake having to come through for Borup and Stown and their money, their lifeline on Inferno. It is all on the line. This is a must win. 
2v3. The Molly going to burn these players out of the site, but hasn't found a kill. The nade to follow up brings them both low. Electronic in with a peek. And oh my goodness, how has he done that? See you later. Four in the round. He just finishes the last one off with the Glock. Electronic is having an absolutely unreal game. 30 and He's 8. 30 and 8. 150 ADR. And then Simple just behind him, 22 and 11. They're 52 and 19 when you combine them. Unreal. And then just the Glock. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> And that's so sad for Heroic, who had all this utility, nades, mollies, but they don't know Electronic's there. They use it in the pit, they use it in the site, and then Electronic peaks after all of those grenades are gone. Simple does get tagged down middle. He's onto the Org now. Forget the Krieg. He's grabbing CT rifles on his way out, but very low and finished off by the Scout. Electronic will trade. Of course he will. Keeping up dominant score. Borup is tucked. Needs a flash. Needs support, but it actually doesn't blind anyone, at least not Boomich. Perfecto backs up and Boomich re-aggresses with two. He was not whitened by the utility, and now B belongs to Na'Vi and maybe the map as well. It's starting to feel more and more like the map, especially considering how sick the armament is over here. Hayden's going to try to take the scout and the shotgun all the way to the B site. And so far, so good. Won't matter, though, when you're retaking solo. <laughs> Yep. And this is just utter domination, right, from Na'Vi. Kadian, yeah. yeah, he's gone back for the shotgun. Right, cool. I think he knows that they're screwed as well, right? Like, <laughs> looking at the ground, running in with the auto shot. Here he is. Now, this would be a clutch for the A. Yeah, it would. <laughs> it would. But it ain't going to happen, is it, right? Na'Vi, don't even let him get to the site. It's 16 for them as they take the map pick of Heroic. They go 1-0 and up in this series. Now Na'Vi poised to reach a grand final. Join us after the break to see who takes this second map. is showing any empathy rudely awakened quiet undertaking did i do something wrong life isn't easy why did you leave me here with my thoughts alone 